to the 40th Mountain View Downtown Parade. I'm Bobby Chastain of KNVT alongside Kim Kofer. Hello and good morning. You know, Kim, they say life begins at 40. What were you doing in 1978? Discoing? I was. I was nine years old, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> Leading off the parade this year, as usual, is the Mountain View Fire Department Honor Guard. The Mountain View Fire Department has been awarded a Class 1 Public Protection Classification. The Class 1 rating is the highest possible score that can be given to any fire department nationwide. Leading the fire department is Captain Corey Demers with members of the Fire Department Honor Guard. And following them is our 2009 Pierce Engine 51 and Truck 51. Our 1930 Ford Model A engine driven by fire engine Derek Schmitz, who just rebuilt the engine just for this parade. Next up, we have the City of Mountain View Recreation Preschool. The City of Mountain View Recreation program has served the youngest members of our community for over 46 years. They strive to empower the social, emotional, and imaginative capabilities of our students with a curriculum that is rich in language, science, and the arts. The Mountain View Recreational Preschool offers classes five days a week for children ages three to five years of age. Up next is Mountain View City Council members, Margaret Abekoga, Chris Clark, John McAllister, Ken Rosenberg, Vice Mayor Lisa Matichek, and Mayor Lenny Siegel. Some of our council members are walking today, some of them are riding the fire engine. And there's also Pat Showalter, we saved the best for last. Here is our 1930 Ford Model A engine driven by fire engineer Derek Schmitz, who rebuilt the engine just for this parade. Our fire chief Juan Diaz is driving the 1940 hook and ladder antique truck. The driver in the back is San Jose Fire Captain Leah Diaz, the chief's wife. Woohoo! <laughs> I've always wanted to steer the back of a fire engine. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> County Supervisor Joe Simidian loves the annual spring parade in Mountain View. Joe Smidian is the County Supervisor for the 5th District of Santa Clara County, representing Mountain View, Palo Alto, Cupertino, Stanford, Los Altos, Los Altos Hills, and Saratoga, along with portions of Sunnyvale and San Jose. Hi, Joe. What's your favorite city? <laughs> Mountain View. Joe just said his favorite city is Mountain View. <laughs> he currently serves as President of the Board of Supervisors. 
chair of the Finance and Government Operations Committee and vice chair of the Health and Hospitals Committee. You might see Joe at the Mountain View Farmers Market hosting sidewalk office tour hours or moderating one of our Human Resources Commission roundtables. And here's the Environmental Planning Commission. The City of Mountain View Environmental Planning Commission are the citizen advisory commission appointed by City Council that provides input on long-range plans for development in Mountain View. In addition, we establish and maintain the environmental planning process. They meet twice a month at City Hall and invite you to join them on the first and third Wednesdays of each month at 7 p.m. They're great paraders, too. Ooh. Here we have the Bicycle and Pedestrian Committee, the City of Mountain View Bike and Ped Advisory Committee, was established to address issues associated with promoting a safe and positive environment for bicyclists and pedestrians in Mountain View, including transportation, safety, and access. And behind them, we got a first band of the day at St. Francis High School. St. Francis High School is a leading co-educational, diverse Catholic college preparatory school focused on educating the whole person with a pr proven reputation for excellence in academics, athletics, and the arts. Over 100 faculty members prepare approximately 1,700 St. Francis students for the rigors of college and the challenges of global citizenship. And here's their band. Here come some future Lancers, our Little Acorn Christian Preschool. Little Acorn Christian Preschool is a private, nonprofit preschool that has a mission of the First Presbyterian Church of Mountain View for over 30 years. Little Acorn is committed to excellence in early childhood education. They follow a child-centered, play-based philosophy with an emphasis in reflective teaching and modeling sound Christian values. Visit them on tour on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. You know what I'm going to do this summer, Kim? <laughs> what will that be? I'm going to take a dip in the pool this summer. I can purchase a recreation swim family pass for unlimited family swims this summer. It's available for purchase at Eagle Pool, the community center, or online. Will you be wearing that fabulous wig? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I hear it's the next group coming. It's Stevenson Pact Elementary School. <laughs> Progressive education and a rich community experience await you at Stevenson Pact Elementary School. As a public school, Stevenson Pact follows all state curriculum guidelines. Although their test scores are among the top in the district, they focus on process of teaching and learning over all else. The best way to determine whether Stevenson Pact suits your child's needs is to come to one of their enrollment events and speak to the other parents and teachers. Next up is our Environmental Sustainability Task Force. The City of Mountain View Envi Environmental Sustainability, Sustainability Task Force serves by developing environmental sustainability recommendations. These go to the City Council on areas such as transportation, land use, and buildings. Their next public event is coming up right around the corner on April 30th at the historic Adobe Building at 7 p.m during which the public will be given a first look at the recommendations and be able to review and provide valuable input. Visit their table in Pioneer Park for more information. This task force reminds you that every day is Earth Day. You know, Bobby, if you're going to be going out and jumping into Eagle Pool, and I think I people need to know that Mountain View Recreation registration is open. Summer camps, swim lessons through the Recreation Division. Check the activity guide online at www.mountainview.gov slash register. The Recreation Division has a lot of great events coming up this summer for you and your family to enjoy. 
And now we have Grupo Folklorico, Los Quetzales de San Jose, Grupo Santa Paula y Los Panaderos. <laughs> and their uh, <laughs> dance group comprised of dancers aged 4 to 15 and their families who perform traditional dances from various regions of Mexico. You know that the uh, rec department is hiring, looking for a fun part-time summer job, are you? Well, you should come work for the recreation division. Positions are available in aquatics, recreation camps, building attendance, and the VIEW Teen Center. You can call the recreation office at 650-903-6331 for more deets. The Mountain View Parent Nursery School. They are a co-op parent participation preschool that celebrates play-based learning. That's right up my alley. How about you, Bobby? Yeah, I like play-based learning. That's <laughs> why I work in television. <laughs> this looks like a lot of cooperation going on. <laughs> Well, that is definitely what cooperation looks like. That is a great group of people. We'd like to take a minute to thank this year's parade event sponsors, Spartan Sports Camp and Silicon Valley Clean Energy. The City of Mountain View is currently seeking sponsors for the Thursday Night Live event series, which also takes place here on Castro Street during the summer months. Here we have Tinker Garden, Tinker Garten. Tinker Garten provides high quality early childhood learning in the healthiest classroom of all, the great outdoors. Families connect with trained leaders in their local community for play-based classes that help develop core life skills. Come learn in the park with them. That's www.tinkergarten.com. Let's hear it, Tinkergarten. Here comes our World War II military Jeep. A fully restored GPW World War II Jeep. The markings recognize and commemorate the 3rd Marine 23rd Armored Regiment headquartered in San Bruno, California. Driving is Al Sonor of SSF, accompanied by First Lieutenant John Baker, retired Army 562 Artillery. Their wives, Sharon and Barbara, recognizing the contributions of Rosie the Riveter in World War II. We can do it. Next up is the 351st Civil Airs Command. The 351st Civil Airs Command is commanded by Brigadier General Christopher Stokel and Commander Sergeant Major Gregory Thompson. Headquarters and Headquarters Company is commanded by MAGJ Jess Langerud and Maple Wesley. Thank you everyone for their service. Join friends and neighbors on the first Friday of the month, May through September, at Concerts on the Plaza. Kids' activities, a food truck, beer and wine sales, all around out musical performance by local artists. A community event not to be missed. Come out to the Civic Center Plaza on Friday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Very quick shout out to Micah and Kara Ho. Big round of applause for Kara and Micah. 
The Human Relations Commission, the City of Mountain View Human Relations Commission, otherwise known as HRC, is an advisory body of the City Council and a liaison between city government and the public. The HRC's mission is to encourage involvement, participation, and inclusion in all residents of the Mountain View Community Affairs and local governance. Their meetings are open to the public and are held the first Thursday of every month, except July and August, at 6.30 p.m. in City Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, the City of Mountain View Ambassador Program. <laughs> the Rental Housing Committee implements the Voter Approved Community Stabilization and Fair Rent Act with the purpose to promote neighborhood and community stability, healthy housing, and affordability for renters in the city of Mountain View. Here's the Performing Arts Committee. The city of Mountain View Performing Arts Committee provides guidance and recommendations to the city council on all matters related to performing arts within Mountain View. From reviewing operations of the Mountain View Center for Performing Arts to maintaining ongoing relationships with award-winning companies such as Theater Works and Peninsula Youth Theater, welcoming brand new second stage home company Upstage Theater, and even the creation and production of the annual high school one-act play festival. Hey, batter, 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 hey, batter. We've got the Mountain View Little League. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Athletics. And the Astros. <laughs> Next is the Mets. <laughs> We got Team Batman, followed by the Red Sox. And the Cardinals. <laughs> and my favorite version of the Giants. <laughs> and the Red Sox. Do I see Red Sox? There's the Cubbies. <laughs> and 40 years after their We Are Family Championship, we have the return of the Pirates. <laughs> and a little more green and gold for the Athletics. And in formation, the entire Cubs team. <laughs> and more Giants. Here's the Mets. And Pirates. And the Red Sox. And the A's. And the Giants. <laughs> And more pirates. <laughs> and the Cardinals. With old glory. And the Giants. 
And last but not least, the Twins. And if you were wondering if this is America's favorite pastime, I think this group of sports people is proof. Who's in the car? Oh, okay. Is this a car one? Is this a car? There's nothing in there. And what here's year? a funky El Camino. What year? 1971. Funky El Ranchero, not an El Camino at all. Oh, okay. You might have been in that one, Bobby, on your way to a disco, perhaps, at some point in the 70s. Good morning, Star One Credit Union. They've been in business since 1956. They have assets, assets exceeding $9 billion, and Star One is the 10th largest member-owned financial institution in the nation and one of the largest in Silicon Valley. Convenient services include ATM and sharing branching networks with locations across the U.S. And, and across the world. Join a Star One Credit Union and become a part of one of the strongest and safest financial institutions in the nations. Membership is available to individuals who live, work, or attend school in all of Santa Clara County. Playing one of my all-time favorites, Funky Town, by, of course, <laughs> Lip Sync. <laughs> Lip Sync. Next up is Creative Imagination Schoolhouse. <laughs> Creative Imagination Schoolhouse is a home-based preschool program serving children 2.9 to six years. It is a play-based learning environment inspired by Reggio Emilia approach. CIS is having their open house on May 5th from 10 to noon. They also offer private program tours by appointment only. Check their website and Facebook page, Creative Imagination <laughs> Schoolhouse, for current openings in their summer program. They're currently accepting applications for the fall school year 2018-2019. Okay, Landles Lions, here we go. <laughs> Downtown Mountain Views Elementary School, Landles celebrates diversity with students from 31 counties and 39 different languages spoken by Landles families. Our school celebrates the diversity of the Silicon Valley. Landles is a, full, a place full of people who care about, look after, and support one another. It's a place full of people who acknowledge and applaud not just accomplishments, but efforts as well. Go Lions! It's the Youth Advisory Committee. City of Mountain View Youth Advisory Committee. <laughs> the City of Mountain View Parks and Recs Commission consi consists of five City Council appointed members and act in an advisory capa capacity to the Council for all parks and recreation matters. The Commission also serves as the Urban Forestry Board, which hears heritage tree appeals and makes recommendations regarding heritage trees and street concerns. And Thank after them is Mountain help. View Tennis Club. Mountain View Tennis Club welcomes all tennis players in Mountain View to join for fun and competitive tennis. They play out of Rangstorf Park, and you can contact them at mvtc.net. <laughs> All-Star Kung Fu! All-Star Kung Fu is a Chinese martial arts studio. They offer Kung Fu and Tai Chi classes to children and adults. Their instructors are award-winning professional martial artists with many teaching experiences. Visit their website at www.allstarkungfu.com and you can drop by for a free trial. Kim. Yes. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> what year did that song come out? I think it was in the 70s. And next up is Leadership Mountain View. Woohoo! Otherwise known as LMV. This is where good people become great community leaders. Graduates of this course are given the opportunity to get a 360 degree look at the city. It's like one of our great nonprofits. They look at great nonprofits and large and small businesses. If you are contemplating becoming more involved in the community, consider taking this one Friday a month course. 
Let me tell you, that may look like a small group, but there are over 720 alumni here in Mountain View who have gone through the Leadership Mountain View program. Bobby, did you do it? Class of 2012, one of the better two or three classes. Class of 2013. This is the Gabriella Mistral Elementary School. Gabriella Mistral is a kindergarten through five choice school in the Mountain View Wisman School District and home to the Spanish English Dual Immersion Language Program. This program brings together Spanish and English speaking students and families in a school that is bilingual, multicultural, and academically enriching. They prepare their students for a rich life in a multicultural world. Here's Marty's Dance Studio. At Marty's Dance Studio, they believe that every dancer deserves a turn in the spotlight. Opened in 1974, they offer a variety of dance classes to students of all ages and skill levels. Along with their recreational classes, their competitive teams train hard and travel to three different dance competitions. Summer camps and classes start July 9th, and everyone's invited to come to their end-of-the-year dance show June 16th at Foothill College. Check them out at martydance.com. Hello and welcome, Miss Teen Mountain View. Miss Teen Mountain View is a 17-year-old senior at Los Altos High School. This past December, she has represented the city of Mountain View in the Miss California Teen USA pageant in Long Beach, California. And in 2013, Miss Corona became an LIT with the MV Recreational Department. She is now the volunteer coordinator for a growing nonprofit called Club Dandelion. Day Worker Center of Mountain View. Their mission is to connect workers and employers in a safe and supportive environment. They empower workers to improve their socioeconomic condition through fair employment, education, and job skills training. They participate in advocacy efforts that support the day laborer community. Hi, Maria. <laughs> And you can hear them coming. This is Samba Mundial. Samba Mundial is a nonprofit corporation that is a Brazilian style samba school based here in Mountain View. They offer year round drumming and dance classes as well as performances throughout the Bay Area. Classes are every Wednesday night all year round at the Mountain View Recreation Center at Rangstorf Park. Not only do they offer samba, but drum classes from 7 to 8 p.m. and dance classes 8 to 15 to 9 15. Here's the ASEA Shrines. This clown unit was founded in 1954 and entertains children of all ages at carnivals, parades, <laughs> street and county fairs, hey, like this one, throughout the Bay Area. The clowns are dedicated to helping the kids in the Shriners Hospital for children where they contribute thousands of dollars each year. <laughs> Contact any Shriner if you know a child under the age of 18 who needs orthopedic or burns treatment regardless of their ability to pay. The reading will come to you. The Mountain View's energy efficient mobile library vehicle is 11 years old. They serve corporate campuses, senior living complexes, child care centers, and schools, bringing the latest books and media to those who can't get to the library easily. Staff also present story time at local childhood centers, and you can check them out with a Mountain View library card. Let's hear it for Montaloma Elementary PTA. These are the leopards of Montaloma Elementary School. Well, if there isn't already reason enough to stay and hang out in Pioneer Park after the parade, these critters will be doing a meet and greet in the park after, appearing every year in our parade since 1997.
Right behind the critters are Cub Scout Pac-80. Pac-80 is chartered by the First Presbyterian Church of Mountain View, California. The pack is part of the Stanford District Pacific Skyline Council Boy Scouts of America. They primarily serve four, four, four schools in the Cuesta Park vicinity, Bub, Huff, Landles, and St. Joseph. Mountain View, however, any child in the first through fifth grades or age 11 to seven, going backwards, outside the area is welcome to join. Established in 1953, Pac-80 is proud to be the longest running pack in Mountain View. Next up is Bose and Bose Square Dance Club. <laughs> a dosey do, -si -do and here you go. The club meets uh, classes on Mondays, Wednesdays at the Loyola School on Barry Avenue in Los Altos. Did you do that in the 70s? We did this in, in elementary school. We learned how to do -si do. Uh, This is a 1929 Ford Shea Model A. Scott and Carrie have been in several parades in the Bay Area, and they love to participate in each city's on celebration days like this. Moving and grooving in Mountain View. <laughs> Stevens Creek 4-H of Mountain View. Ooh, they got some four-legged friends with them today. They're the new 4-H club in Mountain View called Stevens Creek 4-H. And if you want more information, you can look them up on Facebook. Here's Boy Scout of America Pack 84. Good morning, Pack 84. Next, we have Kaiser Permanente. Kaiser Permanente, they have the health care your family needs all connected for you. Check out their medical offices right here in downtown Mountain View where they have been for over 25 years. They help you and your family thrive. Have a happy and healthy day. Compliments of Kaiser Permanente. Here's Capoeira Hermandade. <laughs> They're a Capoeira group and that's a martial art developed by slaves in Brazil. And there are classes in San Jose and Milpitas. Next up is Magical Bridge Foundation. They're coming to Rangsdorf Park. It's a new type of community playground where everyone truly plays together. With its unique state-of-the-art design developed to meet the needs of everyone in the community, including those living with visible or invisible disabilities. Magical Bridge welcomes everyone to come out and play, regardless of ability, disability, size, or age. Mas Magical Bridge can't wait to meet everyone in the Mountain View community at their playground. Mountain View Deanza Masonic Lodge. The Mountain View Deanza Masonic Lodge is celebrating its 150th year, having been formed in 1868. Let me check the math on that. Yeah, 50, 150, yes. Freemasonry is the world's first and largest fraternal organization. The Mountain View Lodge is located next to Pioneer Park at the end of the parade. Stop by today and take a look. I am a Joby. Ha ha ha. Last but not least is a parade favorite every year, Deer Hollow Farm. If your children are elementary age, they can enjoy a school field trip to where they will learn about the farm, life sciences, or Native Americans. Over 5,000 students visit the farm each year. If you're between 6 and 14 years old, you can join the summer camp, adventure, um, hurry, uh, space is limited, and some of the weeks of summer are already full. So jump online. The, fa the farm operates in cooperation with the City of Mountain View, the Mid Peninsula Regional Open Space District, and Santa Clara County, and the Friends of Deer Hollow Farm. The farm is always looking for adult volunteers to join the team. My guess is that they were. 
coming up last in case they left anything behind. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Bobby? Yeah, I, that, I didn't like the way that goat was looking at me. <laughs> so uh, once again, we'd like to thank, uh, take a minute to thank this year's parade event sponsors, Martin Spartans Sports Camp and Silicon Valley Clean Energy. The City of Mountain View is currently seeking sponsors for the Thursday Night Live event series, which also takes place here on Castro Street during the summer months. Interested businesses and organizations are encouraged to visit mountainview.gov slash sponsor to learn more about the opportunities available. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, one more. We want to acknowledge the Rangstorf House. I would like to acknowledge the Rangstorf House. Trail ambassadors run, bike, or walk along area trails and help to promote positive trail etiquette. All the while enjoying their morning and afternoon commute and or workout. The Rangstorf House docents lead tours of this historic home, furthering their deeper understanding of Mountain View's early life while also telling the story of a facility never lost to demolition. It's one of the finest examples of Victorian Italante on the West Coast. Well, Kim, it was a great time. I just want to say we couldn't have done it without the support of Kara and Micah Ho. So we're so glad they could be with us today. And, of course, we couldn't have done it without uh, me and you, right? Well, thank you, Bobby, for having me again this year. It was a beautiful sunny day. And now we'll look forward to seeing everybody over in Pioneer Park for the rest of the festivities. I'll see you down there. All right. Bye-bye.